So the first thing we're going to do today is to do a bit of stretching, a bit of yoga together. So can you all stand up first? Let's stand up and let's reach our hands up to the sky like this. And then let's reach our hands down to the floor. And again, up to the sky. And let's go down to the floor. Now, just with your right hand, I'd like you to do one, two, three, four, five circles. And let's do the same with our left hand. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, can we do both together? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's stretch a little bit with our legs. So let's lift our right leg up first, like this. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go back like this. Can you hold your balance? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do the same with the other leg. So hold your knee like this, left leg for one, two, three, four, five. And let's go back again. Try to balance. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's put our arms up in the air again. And then on the count of three, you're going to throw them back. So one, two, three, one. And again, one, two, three, two. And the last one, one, two, three, three. There we go. So we're all nicely warmed up. So today, we're going to do three different things that are nice to do at home in this time. So we saw the first one is some exercise, some yoga. It's, it's very nice to be able to stretch in the morning, in the evening. And then the second thing we're going to do today is to read a story. Now, I think you know this story already in Italian, but do you know it in English? Let's have a look. Okay. Here we are. So we see the first thing we did was a little bit of yoga, and then we have our story, and the last thing we have is some origami. So here is the first character in our story. She's a girl. See, she's got short brown hair. She's smiling, and her name is Little Red Riding Hood. Let's see the second character. Here we've got mum, the mother. So you can see also she's smiling, she's happy. She's got short brown hair and she's wearing an apron, probably because she's cooking in the kitchen. The third character we have is Granny. So Granny is old. You can see she's got gray hair, she's got bags under her eyes. And she's got a walking stick. So she's character number three. Character number four, we've got the big bad wolf. So you can see our big bad wolf has got long nails. He's got big teeth, got big eyes, and he's got big ears. And then our final character is the huntsman. So our huntsman is smoking a pipe. He's got his axe and you can see the wood. So he's been chopping some wood. So let's have a look at some useful vocabulary for this story. So the first thing we can see here is a wood. So this is the setting for our story on Bosco, a wood. You can see we also have a cake at the top here, some cake, pari torta. We have a 
basket, which you can see a blue basket here. And at the bottom, the final picture is grandma's cottage. So the house where granny lives in the story. So we've got a wood, cake, a basket and grandma's cottage. So remember these for the story. And here we have some more useful vocabulary. So we've got some eyes, some red eyes. We've got ears here in the middle. We've got some teeth, some big teeth. We've got a tummy, a stomach, and we've got an ax. So can you point with your fingers to your eyes here? Can you point to your ears? Here. Can you point to your teeth? Here. And the last one, can you point to your tummy? So here we've got our tummy. So let's start our story. So here we've got mum and we've got little red riding hood. We can see granny is not well. So mum prepares a cake. A little red riding hood is ready to take it in her basket. So we can see in the picture we've got mum with her cake, we've got little red riding hood with her red jacket and in the background here we can see a basket. Okay let's go to number two. So on her way little red riding hood meets who? She meets a wolf. Can you see the wolf in the picture? Here he is, the grey wolf with his big teeth and his big eyes and his big black nose. Hello, says the wolf. Where are you going? I'm going to see my granny. Do you remember granny? La nonna. She's going to see her granny. She lives in a house behind the trees. So in the picture, we can see Little Red Riding Hood here with her red jacket and her basket. We can see the green trees behind and we can see the wolf. Number three, Little Red Riding Hood stops and decides to pick some beautiful, colourful flowers for her granny while the wolf runs away. So in the picture, we've got Little Red Riding Hood here. She's picking some flowers. She's got a yellow flower, a pink flower, a blue flower. And in the background, you can see the wolf is running away. Let's go to picture number four. So the big bad wolf arrives where? He arrives at Granny's cottage. So he's there at Granny's house. Do you remember cottage from before? Granny's house. She is sleeping. So he eats her, he eats the Granny, and he climbs into her bed. So here's the wolf. He's at the cottage. Granny is sleeping. So he eats Granny and he climbs into her bed. What's going to happen next? What do you think for number five? Let's have a look. Little Red Riding Hood arrives at Grandma's cottage in the woods. Do you remember woods from before? With the trees, Bosco. She's in the woods with her flowers that she just picked and her cake. Do you remember that mum made? She's got her cake and she is happy. She's going to see Granny. So here she is. We can see Little Red Riding Hood with her red hood, her red jacket. We can see Granny's cottage, Granny's house in the background there with the pink door, the pink windows. And then we can see the trees. We can see the wood. So what's going to happen next? Let's have a look. Okay, so here we are on number six. So she goes into the bedroom and she looks at the big bad wolf. Surprised. Granny, what 
big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, said the wolf. Granny, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, said the wolf. Granny, what a big nose you have. All the better to smell you with, said the wolf. Granny, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, shouted the wolf. So little Red, here she is. You can see she's scared, she's shocked. She's in Granny's bedroom, but Granny looks very different. Who is Granny? Who's in the bed? The wolf. Let's see what happens next. So the big bad wolf tries to eat, tries to attack Little Red Riding Hood with his big teeth. So here he is, his Little Red Riding Hood, she's scared and the wolf is trying to eat her. What does she do, Little Red Riding Hood, in this situation? She, ah! she screams. What happens next? The huntsman, do you remember the huntsman from the story earlier, the character? So the huntsman is the one with the axe, the one chopping the wood. So he's in the wood, he hears a loud scream, ah! and he runs and arrives at Granny's cottage. He hits the wolf on the head with his axe. And what happens next? Number eight, the huntsman opens the wolf's mouth, he rescues Granny, so Granny is inside the wolf's mouth, she's inside the wolf's tummy, so he takes Granny out and <sighs> Granny is okay, so she's fine, Granny is good, so we can see here in the picture we've got the act at the side, we've got the huntsman who is rescuing Granny, we've got the wolf with his mouth open, and you can see a little red riding hood is surprised in the background. Now the last slide, this brings us to the end of our story. We can see the wolf runs away. The huntsman, granny, little red riding hood and mum. So the four characters, the wolf is in the background, all share the cake together. Do you remember the cake from the start of the story? The cake that mum baked? Well now here they are, they're together and they share the cake. And that is the end of our story. Do you like it? Is it a happy story or a sad story? Do you know the story in Italian? Maybe you do. So when I was little, when I was young, this was my favourite story. I loved the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Now, the last thing we're going to do together is something creative. So we've done our stretches, we've done our yoga, we've listened to a story, Little Red Riding Hood, and now we're going to do something creative. So let me stop this for a moment. We'll come back to this later so I can see everyone again. Okay, here we are. So this is something that's called a chatterbox. And this is something I used to make when I was at school, when I was little. So it looks like this. You can see we've got different colors. So here we've got red. Here we've got blue, then we've got orange here, and then if we turn it the other way, we can see that we've got yellow. So we've got four different colours here, and the idea is that you choose, let me show you there, a colour, un colore. So imagine you choose red. How many letters are in the word red? We've got one, two, three. We've got three letters in the word red. So I go one, two, 
three. And then here inside, you can see we've got numbers. So now you choose a number. We've got the number eight, we've got the number four, the number seven, and the number three. So you choose a number. Imagine you choose the number three. We open the number three, and you can see inside, backwards, but we've got something nice written. Here it says, you're very clever, se molto intelligente. But you can write what you want, puoi scrivere quello che vuoi. Here, under number four, we've got your fab, you're fabulous. Here, under number two, we've got you're my son. Il mio sole, you're my son. Here, under number six, we've got your awesome. I think you know the word awesome already. So these are all positive. They're all nice things to say to someone. Here we've got you're great. Here we've got you're a star. And then the final two, here we've got you rock. You rock. And the last one, we've got you're the best. You're the best. So now I'm going to show you how to make one of these. It's a little bit difficult the first time. La prima volta è un pochino difficile. Però dopo che capisci come si fa è abbastanza facile. After you understand how you do it, it's quite easy. So I will send to you also a YouTube video so you can watch after if you want to make it. Okay, let's get started. So you need some colors. Here I've got my pack of colors. You need a pair of scissors and you need a piece of paper. Here I have a piece of A4, but any piece of paper is good. It needs to be clean like this. So the first thing we need to do is to make a square. So I take this bottom edge and I fold it up to here. I'll show you. Okay, like this. This is the first step. So you can see it's folded. Then I take this edge and I fold it up to here. Okay, so it should look something like this. We've got the first one and then we've got the second one. Now, with our scissors, we cut off this part because we don't need it, this top part. So we need to take this off. Like this. Make sure that it's nice and neat. Okay, so here we have our square. You can see we have a square, a perfect square. Now we need to take this corner and fold it to the middle. Like this. Okay, now we do the same with this one. We take this corner and fold it to the middle again like this. Okay, and we do the same with this one and with this one. So we take the corner and we fold it to the middle. There we go, number three. And then we do the same with this one. So we take this corner and we fold it where? We fold it to the middle. Okay, and now we have something like this. Now we do the same again. We take this corner and we fold it to the middle. We take this corner and we fold it to the middle. 
we take this corner and we fold it to the middle. And the last one, we take this corner and we fold it to the middle. Okay, and we have a square. So now we need to turn this over. So we have this clear side and we repeat the same thing. So we take this corner and we fold it to the middle. Okay, we do the same thing with the other corners. So we take one corner to the middle. We do another one, corner to the middle. And then we do the last one. We take our corner and we fold it to the middle. So now we have this. The next step with our scissors on this side, not this one with the square, on this one. Can you see we have the line here? Now we need to take our scissors and we need to cut like this. And again here, cut. And again here, we need to cut. That's what we can put over there. And then the last one, we need to cut. So we have something like this. Now, Pull that off. Let's turn it back over to this side with the square and let's fold it in half. So it's like this. Okay. We take our thumb and we put it in here. We take our finger and we put it in the other side in here. And we do the same thing with a finger and thumb. So thumb goes in here. Finger goes in here. You can do it like this. And then here we go. We're ready. So on this part, we will add our colors. Now we can choose, for I'm going to you this, the colors. Um, you can have blue, purple, green, yellow, whatever you want. So we need four colors, first thing. And then inside here, we need the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do our colors first. So the colors are going on here. Got one color, two colors, three colors, four colors. So what colors do you think? I think we'll do one red. We'll do one green, we'll do one yellow, and we'll do one purple. So let's do them together now. So this one is purple. The next one, you can see here, I've written purple. The next one I will do is red, R-E-D, red. The next one with yellow, I will write yellow here. And then the last one, I will do green. Green. So you can see here, we've got our four colors. We've got red, yellow, green, purple. Now, inside here, I write the numbers one to eight. So I will use black. For this but you can use any color so we've got one two three four five six seven eight see here on each piece we've got a different number so it needs to be the numbers one to eight and then under here we can write something for some escribere qualcosa. So, for example, it can be like my my previous one. You're a star. You're a star. You're a stella. Or we can write you're the best. 
Okay. You can also write animals here, different animals. Do you know animals in English? So it could be a tiger, it could be a giraffe, it could be a pig. You can do different animals and then people choose an animal. So let's do two animals. So an animal we can write zebra. Okay. Or a different animal could be a penguin. My favorite animal is a penguin. And then here we can write anything. You're great. Um, you're fab. You can see here, you're great, you're fab. And then the final two, we can write two more animals. So let's put, I don't know, um, a giraffe. And the last one can be a hippo. And we are ready. So let's close it all up. So here we go, it's closed. Let's fold it in half like this. And remember with a finger and a thumb, we put them in the opposite sides like this and like this. And we have our chatterbox. It's finished. So we need to choose a color. So we've got purple, red, yellow, and green. Let's imagine we choose the color yellow. So we do Y, E, L, L, O, W. And then we have a choice of four numbers. We've got the number one, the number eight, the number seven, and the number five. So you choose one of these numbers inside, which is here. Imagine you choose the number eight. So we open the number eight, and what's inside? You're the best. Let's do it one more time. So we choose a color. Scegliamo un colore. Let's do green. How many letters are in green? We've got G, one. R, two. E, three. E, four. N, five. So we look in here, we check what our numbers are. We've got the number nine, five, sorry, four. Uh, we've got the number six and we've got the number three. So we choose one of our numbers. Let's say number three and we've got hippo. Okay. Let's do one more. So let's do it with the color red. How many letters are in the color red? We've got R, one, E, two, D, three. So we look inside, we've got the numbers eight, we've got the number five, we've got the number four, and we've got the number one. So we have to choose one of the numbers. So we have a about numero, which could be the number eight. And let's have a look at what is under the number eight. Oh, we've done this one. You're the best. So we've got you're the best. We've got zebra. We've got penguin. We've got you're great. We've got your fab. We've got hippo. We've got giraffe and we've got your a star. So you can see this is our completed chatterbox. And this is something that you can do at home. So like I said, you've got three very nice activities. We've got the first one, so doing exercise, doing some yoga, doing some stretching, just to maintain um, a flow to, to feel happy. Uh, the second thing I showed you was our story.
so we had little red riding hood but there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stories you can tell me the stories you like if you want you can send me a message tell me the stories you like um i think lots of stories are the same in italian and english was little red riding hood the same that is the story you know and then the last thing we did together is this origami this chatterbox chatterbox means someone who talks a lot vuol dire qualcuno che parla tanto so this is the idea that it's like a mouth so it's like this talking okay 